pointed to the general manager in his box, the same man who had said my services at his theatre were no longer necessary, and hurled the words right at him. I don't know what came over me. I was possessed like a fury. And I went down to the stage apron, just meters from where he was sitting, and I sang Il Palco Funesto. The audience gasped. Ghirangeli reeled from the force of it. They say it was the greatest ovation in the history of La Scala. He ordered them to ring down the fire curtain to stop my applause. You want me to go off and come back out? No, I want you to enter. You're on a stage. Use it. Own it. This is opera, not a voice recital. Anyone can stand there and sing. An artist enters and is. I thought this was a classroom. It doesn't matter. Never miss an opportunity to theatricalize. Am I saying the wrong thing? <laughs> Do something fiery. Well, I can't. Not just like that. No one can. Where is my footstool? Well, I guess some people can. <laughs> It doesn't say anything about 10 a.m. or springtime or Tosca's body in the score. It should say it in your imagination. Otherwise, you have notes. Nothing but notes. Sing. singing about your mistress look happy. You hardly looked at the letter. She has it memorized. She's read it over and over and over. My choice. Not Verdi's, not Shakespeare's colors. You think you can do that? No. Not like you. I don't want it done like me. I want it done like Verdi. With music? Yes, with music. This isn't a play. I want to hear them. Don't repeat, keep going. Oh, Lord, grant it to me. 